And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, things have certainly cooled down throughout Greater Lafayette. A lot of that cloud cover breaking up over the last few hours, but most importantly, those winds have been in from the north throughout the early afternoon. Since then, we've seen those temperatures on the decline. We hit 60 degrees earlier on. Now, falling to 44 in Lafayette. Look at the wind still breezy from the north, 10 miles per hour. Those northerly winds are expected to stick around throughout the overnight hours into the early morning hours. And you can see this blue on your Precision 18 current temperatures here. That is your northerly winds pulling cooled air off of Lake Michigan, forcing it southward in over our northwestern portions of the region. That's why temperatures in Morocco, Remington falling to 40 to 42 degrees, whereas some of our southeastern portions of the region are still in the low 50s and upper 40s. Here in Lafayette, we have that temperature of 44 degrees. The good news is precipitation, none or no more of that expected throughout the overnight hours. In fact, we should be dry here in Lafayette at least for the next 48 to 72 hours. The cloud cover, however, is still sticking around. That northwesterly and northerly wind flow is pulling moisture off of Lake Michigan. And as a result, we'll still see some scattered cloud cover throughout the overnight hours. The round of low pressure responsible for earlier today's rainfall, yesterday's showers and thunderstorms, that's rolled off to the east of us. And that's on its way out, all thanks to a round of higher pressure building in from the central Canada and now moving into the Great Lakes. You see a lot of the cloud cover over parts of Wisconsin, the UP, as well as much of the Great Lakes clearing up at this hour. And that will continue as that high pressure system makes its way a little bit further off to the south. So there's your high pressure right there. Scattered clouds expected overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning. But all in all, we still have a pretty nice evening ahead of us, though temperatures should be a little bit cooler than I'm sure all of us would like to see. In fact, these temperatures overnight tonight should be the coolest we've seen here in about a week. 40 degrees, your overnight low temperature in West Lafayette. We fall to 39 degrees in Kentland, 41. Winnemac temperatures over the next few hours remaining relatively stable despite those northerly winds. Your snapshot forecast for tomorrow morning, Saturday, looking pretty pleasant. We do start out the day a bit on the chilly side, 40 degrees, scattered cloud cover throughout the morning hours, back up to 51 degrees by 10 a.m. And then with that high pressure system kicking to the east, a lot of the cloud cover over greater Lafayette beginning to clear up by the early afternoon. In fact, we should be seeing nearly crystal clear skies by the afternoon. And as that high pressure system spins a little bit further off to the east, notice how it spins. It spins clockwise. So as that gets further eastward, that will bring some stronger southeasterly winds in by the afternoon. That pairing of the sun Sunshine, the southerly winds will drive temperatures up into the upper 60s, possibly even low 70s for tomorrow. And if you think that sounds nice, just wait until you get a load of Sunday. 68 degrees on Saturday, Sunday, a high temperature of 77 degrees, an absolutely perfect weekend. Unfortunately, the work week begins, and with it comes scattered rain chances. Showers and thunderstorms a possibility by the afternoon hours on Monday. Light lingering showers for Tuesday morning. As we get towards Wednesday, another round of rainfall. So damp week next week. Moral of the story, Brittany, Rob, get out, enjoy this weekend while you can. Exactly. Nobody wants to start Monday with rain. Yeah, I know. And that's the worst part about it. Is, uh, the beginning of this week was actually gorgeous. We had that perfect weekend. Monday this week, nice. Not so much uh, the case for next week. But we still have two days to enjoy it, so exactly. I, I won't complain yet. Yeah.